Alright folks and welcome to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father and I'm now going to be um, reviewing and ranking the 2019 AFL Ugly Christmas Jumpers um, from 18 to 1. Um, so no messing about, let's just get straight into it and I've got to apologise because this club's going to think I've got something against them. I don't. They're a magnificent club, um, a great history and one of the best teams throughout the sport. Um, of the last 15, 20 years or so. Um, so we're just going to get straight into it. Who is the ugliest, ugly Christmas jumper? It's got to be Hawthorne Hawks, there's no doubt about it. Nothing against the club crest. I actually really, really like the club crest. It's got the side profile of the hawk facing that way. It looks mean with the hawks, three going across it. I actually like the pattern as well, and it's quite um, a common pattern, this one, for all of the Christmas jumpers. But... The difference being yellow and brown. Yellow and brown. Seriously, uh, it looks like the bodily functions um, that you would push out are of your body. Uh, <laughs> your bodily movements, should I say. Yellow and brown. And nothing against the club, but yellow and brown really should never ever be club colours. <laughs> um, so 18th spot, Hawthorne Hawks, apologies. 17th spot then, Gold Coast Suns. They're pretty familiar with being this low down a list. Um, in itself, it's really ugly, isn't it? Um, yellow squares going across it. It looks like a chessboard, a uh, draughts board type thing. It's got the big snowflakes, the Gold Coast Suns uh, badge and the yellow squares going down it, and the white squares, the Gold Coast Sun crest going down. It's really brought into the ugly Christmas theme, hasn't it? They've really went bold and in your face. Rawr! Um, but I think they've really um, took full advantage of the word ugly. <laughs> and literally made an ugly Christmas jumper. Um, Gold Coast Sun, 17th spot. 16th spot, okay. And I actually like the pattern of the jumper. Um, I like the football club. I've got a lot of respect for the football club. I've got loads of um, subscribers and followers of my channel. I actually like the club. So I've got nothing but good things to say about them. Um, I've got a lot of the players I like. But I really don't like purple on sports tops. I don't know why. I just don't. Um, but there's the Fremantle Dockers. Fremantle Dockers in 16th spot. Um, the badge in itself, it's, it does jump out. You know it's them straight away with the Dockers badge on either breast if you like. Uh, with the reindeer pattern, the snowflakes and the Christmas trees in purple going across the um, the white bold hoop going around the top, uh, the bottom there at the waist and the reindeer up here from shoulder to shoulder. I actually quite like the Christmas pattern of this jumper um, but it's the purple and uh, it's not something I really like. Um, all in all it's not terrible, it's not a terrible jumper. I wouldn't call it ugly, it's just purple wouldn't be my favourite colour so that, there's nothing really the Duckers can do about that. But I'm ranking the jumpers at the end of the day, and that's why this one has found itself in 16th. Sorry, Dockers fans. Um, 15th spot then, it's the Giants. And see, to be honest with you, I actually quite like this. The more I look at it, the more it, it grows on me. From I put the list down, it's, I've probably done them, them a bad turn, the Giants here. Again, they've went for the bold squares with the big snowflakes going diagonally across it with the Giants badge and then the G going down it there on the orange and grey and black squares. Um, I actually quite like it. Um, but there's better. There's better out there. And that's why um, GWES have found themselves in 15th spot. It's not a bad jumper. Um, as I say... If somebody bought me that, I would wear that. I think that's an okay jumper. I quite like it. So 15th spot, the Giants. 14th spot then, Geelong. Um, this is in 14th spot because I like the pattern of the jumper. They went with the pattern that I think I prefer. It's the more plain look with the sort of windows um, top and uh, bottom of the um, Geelong Cats Club crest um, with the white up here and the snowflake look and then the white with the, uh, the navy and grey snowflakes or whatever the uh, 
along the waist um, with a white cuffs and white waistband and white collar. I think it's quite nice. The navy is quite a dull and drab uh, jumper. It is the Geelong Cats colour but they are quite dull. They're not very bright. Um, it is a Christmas jumper. I think they could have been a little bit more bold in, 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 in this jumper. Um, all in all, I like the pattern, the Geelong Cats badge. It wouldn't be actually one of my favourite crests, the Geelong Cats. I like the club, I just the, the club crest. I just don't, I think it's one of my least favourite club crests actually. But it's on the, 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 the jumper three times um, and it's found itself in four teeth. Not bad, it's actually quite a nice jumper. It's plain, but there's better out there. So it's in 14th spot. Okay, on to 13th. Again, a lot like the GWS um, Giants, the square pattern look, um, the checkered look, um, the Lions badge. I think the Lions club crest is magnificent, really like it, and I also like the Lion on the side with the paw on top of the Sharon, really cool looking. Um, they went with the big snowflakes in different colours going diagonally across the jumper. They've bought into the ugly Christmas look. I really like the jumper, actually. Um, would I buy it? Possibly. Um, would I wear it? Yes. If somebody bought me it, I would be more than happy. Nice Christmas jumper. Well done, the Brisbane Lions. 13th spot. Okay, on to 12th. And this is a huge club in terms of AFL footy. So they're not used to seeing themselves this far down a list as Collingwood, the Magpies. They've went for the more plain, simple Christmas look. Um, that I actually quite like, um, with the black and sort of grey window things, shape thing, um, above and below the magpie crest, again with the white from shoulder to shoulder across the collarbone um, area, and again across the bottom is the white with the, the black and grey snowflakes, it's quite nice, I actually like it. Um, the badge, it's not too offensive, you know what it is straight away, I think because it is literally black and white, it just sits in there nice, but yet it's bold enough to be seen. Good effort from Collingwood, I actually like it, plain but yet an ugly Christmas jumper, they've done really well with, the, with that one there, I like it, well done Collingwood, 12 spot. Okay, on to 11th, um, it's Sydney Swans, and one thing I want to point out about Sydney Swans here is, they've... They've probably captured the Christmas jumper the best in terms of it looks like Santa Claus or Mrs. Claus's jumper, if you like, with being red and white with a little bit of grey in it. Um, you can tell the Sydney Swans badge straight away, yet it doesn't jump out and go, rah, we're Sydney Swans at you. But you can tell it's their badge with that V-shaped badge and the swan head and the Grand Opera House in the background, or the uh, Sydney Opera House in the background. Um, but the red and white, it just reeks Christmas, doesn't it? So, on that note, they've got themselves an 11th spot. Would I buy this one, though? This is the question. Probably not. And the reason being, it's not because I don't like it. It's because I like other ones. If it was the only one there, yes, I would buy it. But if you put all 18 in front of me, I probably wouldn't buy it. I would buy others first. Because it's probably as though it reeks Christmas in terms of red and white. I, it doesn't actually buy into the ugly... Christmas jumper look that I'm looking for and that's why it's found itself sort of hmm, in the middle of the the ladder if you like there so well done Sydney Swans 11th spot 10th spot then it's the Tigers this club is not used to being down there of the modern era is it um, I love this jumper simply put it's beautiful and um, the yellow and the black yellow and black uh, <laughs> typical Richmond chant there, the yellow and black tiger's crest on the uh, breast of the jumper there with the yellow like window shape and the grey ones above it, yellow from uh, side to side of the waist with the uh, black and grey sort of Christmas crosses or snowflakes or whatever they are and from shoulder to shoulder with the yellow cuffs um, collar and waistband round the bottom. I just think it's absolute perfection to be honest with you, um, really simple, really plain. Um, but yet buys into that sort of ugly Christmas look as well, doesn't it? Um, because it's the bold colour and I think with the, the difference between the Sydney Swans one is the red and white. I know they can't change their club colours but they could have maybe done something a little bit bolder, I think, Sydney Swans to maybe jump it out a little bit more at you. Um, all in all, really cracking jumper um, from Richmond. Well done. 10th spot, the Tigers.
On a night spot, and this is quite funny because I actually have this jumper. It was bought for me of a friend of the channel now, Kerry, so thanks very much for this gift. I really love the jumper. Uh, would I buy it? Yes. Would I wear it? Of course, I already have. If it was gifted to me, I'd be over the moon. And it already has been gifted to me, so thanks very much. Um, it's the West Coast Eagles. I love the West Coast Eagles um, crest. The Eagles head, again, um, sort of sitting side profile. Like, I love the sort of side profile look where you get with the birds' uh, heads in the AFL. Really good. Um, it's, like, it's sort of ready for battle kind of look with the three Eagles heads. The yellow and the blue goes really well together with a little bit of black in there. Again, same pattern as the Tigers and Sydney Swans, etc. and Collingwood. So we already know the pattern, but obviously with the blue and the black and the yellow um, colouring that they've got in the jumper. Really nice jumper. Looks ugly, but nice. Um, really Christmassy. I really like the jumper and a sound position. West Coast Eagles, ninth. On to eighth then, and this is a really cracking jumper. They've bought into the ugly, ugly jumper look. Proper Christmas festive looking jumper. It's North Melbourne. I love this jumper. Um, the only thing I will say, they went really, really bold with the club crest. And I, also, I almost think it's just a little bit overbearing there. Just a little bit, not too bad, but just a little bit overbearing. If it was blended in a little bit more with the jumper, that would have been further up the uh, table for me. Really nice jumper with a white band going across from a uh, sort of <laughs> armpit to armpit there with the blue Christmas trees and um, the reindeer there and the Christmas trees from uh, side to side on the waistband. And again, the snowflakes and the reindeer bouncing about, having a great time uh, at the belly region there of the jumper with a grey um, collar, grey cuffs and grey waistband. Mix that with that beautiful royal blue colour of the North Melbourne. Really, really nice Christmas jumper. As I said, they've bought into the ugly look um, with the Christmas festive pattern. Really went for it. Really, do you know what? Fair play to them. They really went for the bold badge on the on the chest as well. They've done a good job. North Melbourne fans should be happy with that jumper. I would probably buy that if I was a North Melbourne fan. Great effort, North Melbourne, on the Christmas jumper front. Seventh spot then. We've got the power to win! <laughs> it's Port Power uh, up there. 150 years next year of Port Adelaide. Um, fantastic jumper. Really love the, the the teal and the black together with the, the teal um, sort of window shape thing. And I love how they've just done the badge and just teal, teal, that's it. Boom. Power! Um, Really cracking jumper. I love the teal. It's more wider teal there on the jumper with the black and white sort of crisscrossy snowflake look there on uh, from shoulder to shoulder and from side to side on the waist. Really nice jumper. Class looking. Um, I would buy it. I'd wear it. I'd love it as a gift. Great ugly Christmas jumper from the power. Well done, power. Um, sixth spot. And I love this jumper. Um, the jumpers are really good now. From, I would say, 10th spot onwards, they're really, really good jumpers. They're all really nice. 10th um, spot, St Kilda. Um, same pattern as Port Adelaide, West Coast, Eagles, Collingwood, Richmond and all that there. Um, red and black and white of St Kilda. But I really like how they've just went, bang, we're St Kilda with their badge with the red, white and black. Boom, it stands out, but yet it doesn't overpower the jumper. I think it's class looking. It blends in with the red and white windows um, above and below the club crest. Three times the club crest goes across the jumper. It's kind of linked in there with a window between them. Um, I just think it's class. Really, really good jumper. If I was a St Kilda fan, I'd buy that. As a neutral, I'd buy it. I'd wear it. I'd love it as a gift. Great, ugly Christmas jumper from St Kilda. Well done, St Kilda. Six spot. On to fifth then, it's Essendon, the Bombers. And they seem to deliver on all fronts, the Bombers. They really do. Home Guernsey, away Guernsey, Christmas jumper, training stuff. All their stuff's nice, the indigenous stuff. Um, I think that they release one on Anzac Day against Collingwood, possibly with a poppies going down it. Anyway, if they don't, really nice um, kit across the board, Essendon deliver. Again, this jumper's a lot like the St Kilda one. Um, I think I like it just because I like that Essendon crest. That's probably why I've just scored that a little bit above St Kilda. Really, really nice jumper. There's not much between them at all. It buys into the ugly Christmas look, but yet subtle and plain. Um, 
Red and black go to work together really, really well at Christmas, don't they? Cracking jumper from Essendon. Well done. Fourth spot then. I love this jumper. Same design now as North Melbourne, uh, but I love the sort of royal blue and the navy blue with the white. I think it goes really, really well. It's ugly as you like, but nice at the same time with the festive patterns with the Christmas trees, reindeer, snowflakes, etc. And you know what? I kind of went against, not against North Melbourne, I was kind of a little bit pernickety with my uh, critique on North Melbourne, saying they're maybe too bold. But Carlton's went bolder. They went bolder with their club uh, monogram there and really just went, Carlton, we're Carlton. Um, but it works. It seems to work. I don't know why if it's because there's that big white uh, bold stripe from, uh, sorry, armpit to armpit across the, the top of the chest there. It blends in. Uh, but yeah, it does shout Carlton at you at the same time. I just think it's the royal blue and the navy blue with the white. I think I really like the colouring of it. They've done a good job here, Carlton, and they found themselves in fourth spot. Well done, Carlton. On to third place then, and this is an absolute cracker. I really love this jumper. Again, it's the bird with the side profile uh, face. A lot like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> do, do, boom! Going at you, it's Adelaide Crows, the crow head with the feathers going aggressively at the back of the head. I like that club badge, I think it's a cracker. Um, with the yellow and red windows on the navy background of the jumper, with the yellow and navy uh, crisscrossy snowflakes uh, from shoulder to shoulder on the red background, red waist side to side, red cuffs, red collar, really cracking jumper. The red, the navy and the yellow all go together really, really well and it buys somehow because there's a trio of colours in that, it really buys into the ugly Christmas look. But yeah, it works, it's still plain and subtle, but yet bold and festive looking. Really good jumper. I don't know, I just think it's a really well put together jumper. The colours, they've done well with their cup colours, the way they've put them across and all over the jumper. Good effort, Adelaide Crows in third. Now, this puts us into second spot, which I'm going to need a drum roll, and the reason being, as soon as I give you my second place team, you're going to know who the winner is. So, I'm going to give you a drum roll. And in second place, it's Melbourne Football Club. The establishment club of Australian rules football. Where it all began, Melbourne. This club and this crest reeks of history. Um, absolutely love this jumper. It's the festive looking jumper with the Christmas trees, reindeer, snowflakes. I'm not going to go on to about the design. You've already seen the design now. You're just going to have a look at it. Um, but Melbourne, the club crest blends beautifully into the jumper, yet you know straight away it's Melbourne with the red on the navy background. Their club colours, red and navy, really like red and blue together with that wee bit of grey in it. It really goes well. Maybe I'm being biased, I love the colour blue, but if you look at most of my teams in the top 10, the red and blue in them, uh, particularly blue being probably my favourite colour for obvious reasons. Um, if you already know about me and my channel, um, but I think it's cracking, it's festive as anything, it's ugly as anything, in a good way. Um, and it blends in together, it all just blends in nicely uh, from uh, waist to collar uh, and shoulder to shoulder down across the jumper. It's festive as you like. Well done Melbourne Football Club, second spot. So, this brings us on to the winner and there's absolutely no doubt in my mind this is the winner. It's by far the nicest jumper of them all. Maybe you'll say... Don Faller, you're being biased, this is your team, it doesn't matter, I don't care what anybody says, this is the best, visually, I'm judging them on all on the way they look, not about the club, it just so happens to be, this is the nicest jumper, and it's the club that I like, Western Bulldogs, can the doggies! Brilliant jumper, simple design of the sort of sh shoulder to shoulder snowflakes with the red background, white across here above the red waistband with a red and blue crisscrossy snowflakes and a little zigzaggy pattern there in blue and red just above it. The, the perfect mix of red, white and blue. There is no better combination of colours on planet earth than red, white and blue. Ask yourself, 
that same question and you probably can't deny it. All the best countries in the world's flags are red, white and blue. Australia, UK, America, all the powerful countries have red, white and blue flags. France, Russia, all, all on history, red, white and blue flags. Red, white and blue just goes together. It's a marriage made in heaven. It's simply, simply put, this jumper, this Christmas jumper is perfection from um, the doggies. Well done, the mighty West. Um, would I buy it? Hell yes. Would I wear it? Of course. Um, what can I say? West Western Bulldogs players or club, if you watch this video, send me one of these jumpers as a gift. I really, really want it. I think it's cracking. Um, I don't know if they're still available online. Most of them are sold out now. I don't think they've supplied too many of them when they've released these, the company that's released these jumpers. But I, I love this jumper. And the winner overall, the Western Bulldogs. Well done the doggies. Um, so that concludes the video of my Christmas 2019 ugly AFL jumpers. Uh, well done to all the teams. I think most of them were alright. Mine is probably Hawthorne one. And not because I didn't like the pattern or the club badge or the club. I just don't like yellow and brown together. I'm judging these on appearance. Nothing against any of the clubs on it. I'm really, um, as I say, unbiased in everything I do. I know you're probably going to go, but you picked the Bulldogs. It's red, white and blue. I've got a soft spot for it. Get nothing against uh, any team or nothing for any other team. Um, because... I have a lot of friends that support each club and I try and judge it as fairly as possible. Let me know what you thought, what your favourites were, uh, just for a bit of fun. Um, be biased if you like, I don't mind, but just tell me visually what you thought was actually the nicest jumper there, just to see does it kind of link... Uh, a, does it kind of match what I've just said there um, anyway thanks very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel and put the notifications bell on in fact smash it on now and the dawn of world sports my other channel which is just sports and sports only there's going to be loads of AFL stuff on that as well you don't want to miss it um, so subscribe to that and fire that notifications bell on right now as well for that channel Thanks very much. Um, don't forget, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, etc. And also help fund the channel through Patreon. I would love it if you could become a patron. It really will help us fulfill our dream of um, coming to Australia in 2021 to do our AFL vlogging trip. Um, going around the stadiums, the whole experience, the experience of our holiday in Australia. We're going to put it all down in video. But... All uh, funds from Patreon will be going to that, so it would be great if you could become a patron or one-off donation through our GoFundMe. All of this can be found in the description section below to this video. Thanks very much for your support throughout 2019. I hope you'll continue to enjoy our stuff in 2020. So, on the 30th of December, this says, I wish you all a happy new year. I hope you've had a great Christmas. I wish you all a happy new year. And I hope 2020 and the AFL uh, calendar year um, will be a great one. I'm sure it will. And may the best team win. May the best team win. Go the doggies. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. I am the Don Father. Peace, everyone. God bless.